Hello everyone, my name is Arohi and welcome to my channel. So guys, in my today's video, we will learn how to perform object detection using oriented bounding boxes. So whenever we perform object detection, we get these kind of bounding boxes and with each detected object, we get their class name and the confidence score. Here you can see that the bounding boxes are straight rectangle boxes fixed on the objects. But with the help of oriented bounding boxes, we can rotate these rectangle boxes as per the orientation of the object present in the image so that it can fit the object more properly. So bounding boxes and oriented bounding boxes, both are used in computer vision for object detection tasks. And the only difference between them is that using bounding boxes, you may not accurately represent the orientation of the object that are rotated or have some irregular shapes. But when you use OBB, we can achieve that. However, computing OBBs can be more complex and computationally expensive as compared to the bounding boxes. Now the question is, which one should we use for our applications, bounding boxes or oriented bounding boxes? So let's discuss this. Bounding boxes are simple and efficient, but you may not accurately represent the rotated or irregular object. With the help of OBBs, we can achieve this, but at the cost of increased complexity in computation. Why OBBs are more complex and computationally expensive? Because OBBs need to determine the orientation of the object carefully, accurately, and this involves more calculation. So, so the choice between bounding boxes and oriented bounding boxes depends upon the specific requirement of the application. Let's see the implementation now. First, we are going to use the YOLO V8 pre-trained model, which is trained for this OBB task, oriented object detection task. And here we are using the N model in the same way there are other variants of this model. You can see here N, small, M, L and X. Okay, so these are the different variants of this OBB models and all the models which are ending with this OBB. So these are the models which these are the pre-trained models which are trained for this oriented object detection task. Okay, so my today's tutorial we are testing this OBB model. To run this OBB model, you need to have the Ultralytics package because this YOLO V8N OBB is present in the Ultralytics package. So the version of Ultralytics which I'm using is 8.1.19. You can install Ultralytics package by simply writing pip install Ultralytics. Once you have the Ultralytics package, so your environment is ready. Now you can run this model. You can test this model. So first we are importing the YOLO model from Ultralytics. Then we are loading the pre-trained YOLO V8N OBB model. And this is the test image on which I want to perform the testing. My image is in test images folder. And I want to perform the prediction now and just hit enter. Here you can see the results are saved in predict5 folder. Let's go to the folder. This is my runs folder, OBB folder, predict file folder and let's open the image. So this is the image. This is the image we are getting with the help of OBB. Here you can see that the bounding boxes are not straight rectangles. They are as per the orientation of our objects. Okay, now let me uh, show you the example where we will perform the object detection using YOLO V8 and let's compare both the images. So to run the object detection model, just copy the same code, paste it over here. But this time, instead of this OBB model, we are loading the object detection model which, uh, which puts bounding boxes on the detected object and we are testing it on the same image and let's run it. The results are stored in runs detect and predict to let's go to the code let's open this image first the first one okay and under runs we have a detect folder predict to and this image so so guys this is the output given by your object detection model now let me open the output of obb model And this is the output of 
OBB model. Here you can see that in this picture, we have the bounding boxes according to the orientation of the objects. And here we are just having the straight bounding boxes. So this, this is the difference between the bounding boxes and the oriented bounding boxes. Now, let's, uh, now we have tested the pre-trained YOLO V8 OBB model. Let's learn how to train and test the model for OBB task. For that, we will use the Dota dataset. Dota is a large scale dataset for object detection in aerial images and Dota 1.0 has 15 classes and some of the classes are plane, helicopter, swimming pool, ship, okay? And this is the entire list. And we will download this data set and then we will train our model and then we will test the model. So guys, before, before training our model, let me tell you one thing that this YOLO V8 OBB, this model is trained on Dota dataset only, okay? So when we, so this is a pre-trained model. So pre-trained model means it is trained on some kind of data set. So the data set which is used to train this uh, OBB, uh, YOLO pre-trained OBB model. So they have used the Dota data set. So for our today's tutorial, we will download the Dota data set only and we will follow all the steps like how to train the model and then how to test the model. So why we are using this same data set? Because whenever we want to train any algorithm, we first need to prepare the annotations and annotations should be in the format which that particular model accepts. So when we used to work with object detection models which put bounding boxes on the images, so for that we always needed the class name and the four coordinates or bounding box coordinates. Right now we want to have an object detection model which should put oriented bounding boxes on the object. So that means we need some kind of annotations for that also. So let me show you the data set and the annotation file and then we'll come to this code, okay? When you'll execute this cell, you will get the data set downloaded in your folder, okay? So what we have done over here, we are just importing the YOLO from Ultralytics. We are using the pre-trained YOLO V8 OBB model and then we want to train our model. So whenever we want to train a model, we provide one data.yaml file to our algorithm. Remember in um, normal object detection also, we, uh, we provide this data.yaml file in which we, we, we tell that where our images are, how many number of classes we are having and what are the name of those classes, okay? So let me open this file the data.yml file and show you what all things are here so this is the this is the dota v1.yml file and here you can see the path of images training images path validation images path test images path and these are the name of the classes which we are using so you can find this file from here inside the ultralytics github repo under the cfg and then data sets you can get this file over here so we are using that file and now you know the number of classes and what are the name of those classes in this dota data set these are the different classes we have and we are going to train our model for these classes so that we have and we want to train a model for 100 epoch and here we have given the image size now before executing this cell let's see the data set now let me show you the data set you don't need to create any folder once you will run that cell which i've just shown you after running that cell you will get this data sets folder inside that you will get this folder dota v1 v1 means version 1 and open it inside that you will have two folder images and label and inside images you will have train validation and test folder Open the train folder and here you can see the images. Let's open few images and see. So this kind of images you have. So these all are aerial images. So and inside labels you will see two kind of label. One is original label and one is like this. So the one, this one is the label which is converted in the format which we want and these were the original labels 
So let's open the original labels and see. Okay. So for single file we have this kind of data. Okay, for single file we have this kind of data and one line means one object. And after converting this data into the YOLO format, let's see here this and this is the YOLO format. So this is the uh, annotations of training file in YOLO format and this is the validation annotation files in YOLO format. Now let's open it and see here. So this is the annotation of the first object which is there in the first image and this is for second object. And guys here you can see this is the class name and then we have these many different coordinates over here. But when we used to work with bounding boxes, we only used to have the four coordinates. But this time we have these extra four coordinates. Now what are they? Let's see. So for that, on this ultralytics page, just scroll down and under this dataset format, click on the dataset guide. And this is the format of the annotations which we want if we want to perform oriented object detection using YOLO V8. So what is the format? Class index. Then first two coordinates are X1 and Y1. This one. X1 and Y1. And then we have X2 and Y2, X3 and Y3, X4 and Y4. So that's why we have eight different values here. Okay, so what are these values? X1, Y1, X2, Y2, X3, Y3 and X3, X4, Y4. So these kind of different annotations you have now. So annotation file is different in object detection and oriented object detection. And if you want to use your custom data set, then you need to have your annotations in this format. Then only you can perform this oriented object detection using YOLO V8. Okay. So, so the reason why we use this data set only because they have the data set in this format and today we are just testing how to use the, how to perform the oriented object detection on the data set. So here you will provide the path of the YML file. This YML file I have already shown you and then the data set format is different and then I trained it for 100 epochs. So once the training get finished, let us me scroll down. So I have trained this model for 100 epochs and after that results got stored in this folder. Now let's open this folder and see the training results. Runs, OBB, train and let's open the confusion matrix. So this is a confusion matrix. Here you can see the class names which we have in this data set. And in the same way, you can see the results and the weights you will get in this weights folder. You will use the best.pt weight to make predictions. Now let's use this best.pt weight to make the predictions. So we are importing the YOLO model and then you will give the path of the trained model. And this is the folder in which I have the images on which I want to perform the testing. Save to will save the output. And when you will run it, you will see the output in predict 6 folder. Now let's open the predict 6 folder in OBB and see the output. So this is the output. We have the oriented bounding boxes on our objects. So guys, this is how you can perform uh, object detection, uh, this oriented object detection. So I have given the link of this code in description section. You can try this. And I hope this video is helpful. So guys, if you like my video, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.